Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do a tutorial on bubble sort. So bubble sort is a sorting algorithm and it runs in O of n squared. So that is definitely not the most efficient sorting algorithm out there, but it's a good place to start and a good way to visualize how sorting works. So I'm going to run through how the algorithm works and I'm going to run through an example and then we're going to run through a visualization and we'll be set. So uh, how the algorithm works. So it starts at the front and it will compare two items in the list. If the first one is less than the second one, they don't swap. But if it is, such as this five and one, the five will swap places with the one inside the list. So how that works is as you're going through and you're swapping them, the smaller ones will start to go towards the back and more specifically, the bigger ones will go towards the end. So as you do this, you'll do this one and you'll do the next one and you'll keep doing it until you get to the end. So this will cause two things. One, it'll cause things to start to begin to become more ordered and will also guarantee that this last item will be in the correct spot. So say I went through this once and I would swap, 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 and then I would hit this eight. And no matter what, this eight is bigger than everything else, so it will end up being swapped until it gets to the end. So say I did two iterations of bubble sort, then the last two items would guaranteed to be sorted. So that's how that works. Um, we're going to run through this example and I'll show you step by step how this algorithm works. So we'll start with this list. So it'll first compare three and five. Those are in order, so we're good. Don't have to swap them, just keep going. So we go to the next one, five and one. Five is greater than one, so we're going to swap them. So I'm just going to swap them like this. Okay, so that, that's one swap. Uh, so keep going. 5 and 2, 5 is greater than 2, so we swap them, them. 2, comma 5. Keep going. Now we're going to do 5 and 8. Those are in the correct order, so we keep going. 8 and 7, need to swap those. So we'll do 7, 8. And last one, 8 and 0, those definitely need to swap. <laughs> 0, comma 8. Okay. So that was one iteration of bubble sort. And after this one iteration, as you can see, the last item is in the guaranteed correct order. So now we're just going to go back to the beginning, and we're going to keep doing it until the whole thing is sorted. And that's basically how it goes. So we're, I'll run through it kind of fast. So we go back to the beginning. One and three need to swap. So now we go to the next one. Three and two need to swap. Three and five do not need to swap. 5 and 7 also do not need to swap. 7 and 0 do need to swap. So I'll swap those. And 7 and 8 don't need to swap. So that's our second iteration. And as you can see, the last two are now in the guaranteed correct order. So we'll just keep it going, keep it rolling. Uh, 1 and 2, ooh, it's already looking nice. 1 and 2, good. 2 and 3, good. 3 and 5, good. And 5 and 0, those need to swap. Okay, uh, so we're going to keep going. 1 and 2, good. 2 and 3, good. 3 and 0, not good. 0, 3. Uh, 3, 5, good. 5, 7, good. 7, 8, good. Sweet. Almost done. So now we're going to, oops, sorry, start at the beginning. 1 and 2, good. 2 and 0, nope, switch them. 2 and 3 is good. 3, 5, good. 5, 7. So at this point, since this is our, I think it's our fifth iteration, these five are in the guaranteed correct spot. And that's how it's supposed to go. So if we keep going a few more times, let me give you all some room. Oh, there's a button, never mind. So we're going to one and zero, swap zero comma one. And you still do have to check through the rest of them. So one and two are good, two and three are good, three and five good. 5 and 7 are good, and 7 and 8 are good. So we are done. That is our finished bubble sort sorted list. So yeah, that's how the example is. That's how the algorithm works. So now I'm going to go to this handy dandy website, and we're going to walk through kind of how it works just visually. So it's it's really helpful. Uh, this is called visualgo.net. Uh, yeah, super helpful. So this will start with 3 and 44. Those are good. 44 is bigger, they'll swap. 
I'm going to go kind of fast just because we already went through an example, but this is just to visualize it. Um, so 44 is bigger, it'll swap. Those are good. It'll swap because it's bigger. 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 Keep going, keep swapping. And those are not bigger, so it's not going to swap. And those are bigger, so 50 is going to end up. So after this first iteration, 50 is at the end, which is correct because that is the biggest one. So I'm just going to hit play on this and let it run. So 50 is correct. It'll keep going. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Can I speed it up a little bit? Oh, I can't. Sweet. So yeah. And that's how the algorithm works. So it's O of n squared because for each n in your list, you have to go through and compare n again. So it's n times n. So the way it works, it would be implemented with two for loops, which would end up being n squared. So yeah, that's bubble sort. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Love it. Thank y'all.